Today we'll be discussing sequences, how to get to the sequence menu, and some best practices when using sequences. We're going to be starting out in our sales hub in Dynamics, um, so you should see a pretty similar screen. Um, I'm currently looking at my sales accelerator, doesn't really matter, you can start out in really any one of these menus. What you're going to want to do is go to the bottom left corner here. We don't necessarily have to scroll down, you should be able to just see this menu here. You'll click that and it says options and you'll change the area you're in and go to personal settings. Here you should see sequences pop up immediately and you'll actually have access to all of your team sequences that they have built. Um, you'll be able to create a new sequence, tag managers, you'll actually be able to assign sequences um, and also search sequences. Um, one important note here is that you want to make sure with the system admin that you actually have the correct permissions to see sequences, um, be able to build them, and finally be able to use them. So we will have a little bit more detailed um, securities video if that's something you're interested in. Um, look out for that on our YouTube channel as well. Um, but that is definitely something that you may encounter uh, as one of the first and most common issues. So we're going to go look at one of the sequences I have built. Cool. Uh, Microsoft sequence, so you just click on it. You can see I've had some basic steps already built out. You'll always start up here and have a variety of menu options up top. Now we're going to go back and actually click new sequence and you'll have the ability to actually choose from a template and starting from blank. Notice that there are a variety of templates that you can use. So we're actually going to use a template just to show you on how this works. And there it is. So this is a fully already automated demo template that you're essentially just going to fill in your um, various contacts, your various details, um, fill in your own personal email template. We are going to start from blank and call or whatever you would like. Looking at the actual record type is very important. Um, you'll want to consider what you will be using and how you'll want it to interact with what your goals are. <clears throat> so every sequence starts out at this initial first node and you build out from that node. Before we start with that, we're just going to look at some of the tags and menus up here. Um, you can always close and open this, make that a little bit larger, um, exit the sequence that you're building, edit the tags. So if you tag um, various sequences as various um, key phrases, um, they'll be grouped together. And you'll be able to quickly access them. Properties, um, you're able to quickly change some of the descriptions and the names. Um, exit criteria. So. If you do want to just automatically uh, exit the sequence once an email is replied to, you can check that box here. Um, and there are some more configurations you can do as well. Classic undo and redo buttons, save once anything has actually been done. You can copy the entire sequence uh, and use something that you like and replicate it very quickly. And finally, once you're done building, it will actually activate. Um, so a button we won't use for a little bit. Coming back down to the, some of the last two buttons here, so designers where you're actually going to be building, um, connected leads, but also something important to consider. So you can manually add leads here, um, or you can connect a segment which will feed leads into your sequence. So that will get into the true automation of this and making this you know, the most valuable um, tool for you. So I'm um, looking at designer, we're going to build out a simple um, pretty rudimentary sales process, uh, sales outreach process. Um, so first, I'm just going to click uh, the plus button and you'll see a bunch of options here. Um, we're going to actually complete a task. So the first thing we're going to want to do is check sales list. You can also add a more detailed description. You just exit out of that and that is saved um, on the designer. So you can click up top here. I'll actually save it um, to the cloud see your sequence was successfully saved. 
Um, now we're going to continue with that. Um, so once you check that list, we're going to want to send an email to contact customers. And so far, pretty simple. Um, so this is just going to take you through um, these sales steps. Um, not much automation here. These are actually just going to be tasks that pop up for a um, sales role. Um, now we can actually demonstrate a little bit more. So once that email is sent, we can uh, make a conditional statement that if someone opens the link within the email, we can automatically update the lead and convert that lead to an opportunity. So that will be done automatically. So once this email is sent to the new contact and they click that link, it'll just pop up as an opportunity. Um, so here you have some various options. We're gonna say um, an hour after the link is clicked, and then no, now we're going to get a little bit into some of the automated features here. Um, so this will actually send an automated email to that customer that did not respond. So once you send that first email, you do not have to think about them anymore. So either they respond or they do not. Um, so final outreach, send automated email. And a great feature, you can always connect um, a lot of templates here. So we have some already preloaded ones. And thank you for watching this video today. If you're looking for more Dynamics 365 content, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our Dynamics playlist.